Today, we're going to take a closer look at NVIDIA and how this huge demand for its AI chips, the H100 and the A100, is causing a lot of stress in the manufacturing side for companies like TSMC, and maybe how NVIDIA might be looking at other sources to also manufacture some more of their chips. Let's take a closer look in today's episode. So for those that are not familiar, all these H100s and A100 chips that NVIDIA has for the data center AI market are manufactured by this giant Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing. And this is the number one player when it comes to manufacturing advanced chips by a far, far lead. But this kind of huge demand for their AI products is causing a little bit of stress on Taiwan. And we'll talk. And this stress is not on the actual manufacturing. After the chips are manufactured, they have to go through this process called advanced, advanced packaging and this is where kind of this bottleneck is happening. So TSMC is able to produce these chips and manufacture them, but the advanced packaging, they don't have enough solutions or enough kind of capacity for that to kind of meet the demand. So there are reports that NVIDIA right now is looking at outsourcing partial AI GPU production to Samsung. On this report, it does seem like some of these GPU productions are not going to be for the A100 or the H100. It's going to most likely be for the next generation that's going to be on the three nanometer node and the reason is because it's not that easy to just transfer this it even though it's chip manufacturing each chip manufacturer does it differently right they have their own source they have their own way of doing it so you can't really kind of take one blueprint and kind of give it over to the other and be a hundred percent um it's not that easy, right? You have to kind of redo the design to kind of match that company. So uh, it doesn't make sense, at least for now, for NVIDIA to redo the H100 based on Samsung's foundry. So most likely what they're thinking about is just in case for the three nanometer, if we still kind of keep need this demand, see this demand, and maybe, maybe if TSMC won't be able to kind of meet up with the demand that we need, um, we might need to find another opportunity. And one of the big things is if we look here in this report by serve the home they do mention that right now um, they were at computex 2023 which is a huge event in the kind of supercomputer market and they talked to a lot of people there and it seems like the nvidia h100 has around a 42 week lead time that's almost a full year uh, from purchase and they do mention that the a100 the previous generation also has that same type of lead time. So we can see that there is huge demand right now for NVIDIA's products. And most likely, if you haven't put your purchase order in right now, you're not going to get one this year and maybe not until the second half of next year. Like I mentioned, one of the main reasons is not the actual manufacturing, but it is the advanced packaging, the ability to put these kind of products together. And we can see that TSMC is on track to expand this packaging. The packaging that they called is COWOS or chip on wafer on substrate, right? This is what's the solution that's being used to put all these chips together. And NVIDIA is, uh, TSMC is expected to ad expand this advanced packaging by almost two times by the end of 2024. But at the moment, it doesn't seem like that's enough. Um, we also hear that NVIDIA has kind of worked with another, there are reports that NVIDIA is working with another AI, another packaging company called Amcor Technology to maybe kind of help them out on increase their, their AI packaging solutions. So NVIDIA can also have another source. I wanna thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. So we can see that NVIDIA is definitely trying to maybe find some way out there to um, have a backup plan. I do believe many people believe Samsung because Samsung's pretty much the only other semiconductor manufacturer out there that can do advanced chips. And for those that are not familiar with Samsung, this was a company that NVIDIA has used to make previous GPUs. Um, in early, we can see from this report back in 2016, Samsung used to make um, their lower tier um, 10, um, 10 series GeForce GPUs, which was meant for the consumer market, and their previous generation, the uh, RTX 30 series, was also made by Samsung. Uh, so it's not unheard of for NVIDIA to kind of use uh, to use Samsung for their kind of manufacturing aspects. What I believe is more likely the case that's going to happen is, hey, NVIDIA is going to have a variety of flavors of data sensor CPUs, GPUs for three nanometers, right? They're most likely going to have whatever they call the 
P100, whatever they're going to call it, right? The high tier, they're going to have a mid tier and the low tier, even for the data center market. So most likely what they're going to do is they're going to keep the high tier and maybe the mid tier with TSMC, but kind of focus on having maybe a lower tier solution on Samsung for a backup plan. And like that, they don't kind of push that lower tier to TSMC and TSMC can really focus on those high tier products. Uh, I, I do believe that a lot of companies tend to do that where they kind of mix and match um, they mix and match foundries. Uh, some of the foundries get the bigger, the more elite, um, the more elite product, and then the weaker foundry gets more of like the lower tier product and the more economic uh, free product. So uh, I, I do believe we're going to start to hear a little bit more about that. There are reports, right, that there is obviously another player out there um, that. NVIDIA might be able to use. We did hear earlier, if you've been watching this channel, earlier late in May that T, uh, and Intel actually sent NVIDIA a test chip uh, to kind of showcase their next generation process. And it does seem like NVIDIA CEO kind of liked it. Uh, and he did mention that the results look good. At the same time, maybe NVIDIA and the CEO is just trying to kind of play a little bit with TSMC and say, hey, look, you guys are obviously our, our favorite manufacturer at the moment, but there's a lot of competition out there, right? There's Samsung out there. There's Intel that's potentially going to be out there. So if you want us to play ball with you guys, you guys are going to have to play nice with us. Maybe not in do too much of price increase on our end uh, and we'll stay with you, right? So I do believe sometimes th there is a little bit of polit politics happening and some form of business happening in the back end, um, but it does seem like NVIDIA might have options. And again, like I mentioned, it's not going to be unheard of if maybe in the future NVIDIA even works with but all three they could be working with tsmc they could be working with samsung and they could be working with intel and each foundry might have a different flavor or a different solution in the manufacturing side at the moment i do believe that the biggest issue here is the packaging and like we mentioned that's where the bottleneck is happening the advanced packaging and that's why in the past few kind of months and weeks i've done a lot of videos on advanced packaging i do believe in the comments I even did a video where uh, talked about six companies that can benefit for with advanced packaging. So make sure to check out that video. Um, but right now, we definitely see NVIDIA continue to see the huge, huge demand for their AI products. When I read that reports and rumors that their data center GPUs have over a 40 week lead time, I think that is insane. And I'm pretty sure that lead time is getting bigger and bigger as more players and more people are pay, are putting bigger orders for their GPUs. Uh, so obviously this is a crazy time for the AI market. Let me know what you guys think. Take care, have a good day and see you next time.